Welcome back. In this video, we will dive into a crucial aspect of parallel routing in Next.js, which is handling unmatched routes. In the previous video, we learned that subnavigation within routes is one of the benefits of using parallel routes. In case of our complex dashboard, a use case would be navigating between a default list of notifications and an archive list of notifications. Let's go back to VS Code and implement this scenario. First, in page.tsx within the notifications slot, let's add a link to navigate to the archive notifications view. Import the link component from next slash link and modify the JSX. The text is archived and href slash complex dashboard slash archived. Next, define a new route for the archived notifications with a link to navigate back to this default notifications view. So within the notifications slot, create a new archived folder. This is a regular route folder and not a slot. Within the folder, create page.tsx. Copy paste the code from the default view and update to reflect the archived view. This is called archived notifications. The text is also archived notifications. Let's change the link text to default and the URL to just slash complex dashboard. If we now head back to the browser, we should see the archived notifications link. Clicking on the link, we'll change the URL to slash complex dashboard slash archived. And the archived notifications view is also displayed. Click on the default link and we are navigated back to slash complex dashboard and we see the default notifications view. Our subnavigation within the notifications slot is working as expected. With this implementation in place, let us now discuss the main topic for this video, which is unmatched routes. By default, the content rendered within a slot matches the current URL. In our dashboard folder, we have four slots. Children, represented by page.tsx, users, revenue, and notifications. All these slots render their defined content when visiting localhost 3000 slash complex dashboard. However, when navigating to localhost 3000 slash complex dashboard slash archived, only the notifications slot has a matching route. The other three slots, children, users, and revenue become unmatched. When dealing with an unmatched slot, the content rendered by Next.js depends on the routing approach. In the case of navigation within the UI, Next.js retains the previously active state of a slot regardless of changes in the URL. This means when you navigate between the default notifications at slash complex dashboard and archived notifications at slash complex dashboard slash archived within the notification slot, the other slots, children, users, and revenue remain unaffected. These slots continue to display whatever content they were showing before and are not influenced by the shift in the URL path from slash complex dashboard to slash complex dashboard slash archived or the reverse. In the case of a page reload, Next.js immediately searches for a default.tsx file within each unmatched slot. The presence of this file is critical as it provides the default content that Next.js will render in the user interface. If this default.tsx file is missing in any of the unmatched slots for the current route, Next.js will render a 404 error. For example, navigating to slash archived and reloading the page results in a 404 page not found error because there is no default.tsx file in the children, users, or revenue slots. 
without the default.tsx file, Next.js cannot determine the default content for these slots on the initial load. Let's take a closer look at the default.tsx file. The default.tsx file in Next.js serves as a fallback to render content when the framework cannot retrieve a slot's active state from the current URL. You have complete freedom to define the UI for unmatched routes. You can either mirror the content found in page.tsx or craft an entirely custom view. In our scenario, to prevent 404 errors when rendering the slash complex dashboard slash archived route, we have to include default.tsx files with the three unmatched routes. For simplicity, we will replicate the content from page.tsx in default.tsx. Now our complex dashboard layout comprises of four slots, children, users, revenue, and notifications. In this layout, only the notifications slot has a designated component for the archived route. To prevent 404 errors for the other slots when accessing this route, we need to set up default views. The default views should be at the same level in the directory structure as page.tsx. Here's how we are going to do this. First, we are going to define default.tsx within the complex dashboard folder. This will serve as the fallback view for the children slot. Copy from page.tsx, paste it, and prefix default to the component name. Next, in the user slot, define default.tsx, copy paste the code from page.tsx, and update the component name. Similarly, in the revenue slot folder, define default.tsx, copy the code from page.tsx, and change the component name with default as the prefix. This will serve as the fallback view for the revenue slot, and this right here will serve as the fallback view for the user slot. Back in the browser, if you navigate to the archived route and reload the page, the page will load correctly instead of showing a 404 error. And here's what happens. The notification slot will show its specific content from the archived subfolder as it is the only slot with the component defined for slash archived route. The other three slots, children, users and revenue will display the content from their respective default.tsx files. These files act as fallbacks for routes without specific content. This approach ensures that you don't accidentally render a route that shouldn't be parallel rendered. To summarize, in parallel routing, content within a slot usually matches the current URL. However, for unmatched slots, the behavior varies based on how the navigation occurs. If navigated from the UI, the slot's previously active state is rendered. On a page reload, Next.js looks for a default.tsx file in the slot, and lacking that, a 404 error appears. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.